Good morning everybody. Today we are in the HHR getting ready to head to work. We were waiting on a package today so that is why we're getting a little bit of a late start. Um, I know I didn't really film everything on the uh, service truck which we're actually going to work on today. I got the new injectors in which I'll explain everything when we get to work. I had some issues with the hard line so I ordered a brand new set of hard lines from the DMAX store. Um, so we are going to run to Napa, grab some coolant and some other things. I have to run to the bank real quick and then we are heading to work to go work on the service truck. Hopefully get it running today. I'll explain everything, go over everything. I know I didn't film a lot of it so I do apologize. Uh, I kind of forgot my camera, kind of been really busy so please bear with me. But thank you guys for the support as always and we will see you at the shop. Alrighty, so we have made it to the shop. We got our parts, we're going to go open this, see what we got. Uh, it was a little windy today, so hopefully not too bad. And Austin's using the vacuum, so um, let me explain some things real quick, kind of what we got going on before we get in there. Uh, so I installed the injectors. I reused the injector cups. I did have an injector cup puller, which if you guys want, I will make a video explaining that later. Um, but basically, you put it into the head, it threads on, you tighten another nut, it pulls the cup out. Resealed the cup with red Loctite on the ends, new O-rings, got it all with the injector install kit, and yeah. So pretty much we set the cups back in, the injectors back in with the hold downs, torqued them to 37 foot pounds. Um, got the valve covers back on, the return lines and everything. And we we're getting ready to put the, the fuel lines on, but I realized they were kind of corroded, and I was like torn between change them or not, which is, you should definitely just change them. D-Max store is a great deal if you guys need it. I am a dealer, so got the hookup. But anyways, we got some D-Max store lines in here, and I was going to clean out the other lines, but one of them was clogged, and then there was some corrosion, so I was like, you know what? For the price that it is, and this far with, you know, all brand new injectors, why don't we just put new lines on? So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. And uh, as you can see, I got pretty much cl everything cleaned up. Got the holes plugged right now, but I'm gonna start setting the injector lines in and then hopefully get this thing running here soon. I did get coolant and an oil change, so yeah, we should be good to go. Ta-da, got new lines. So obviously it kind of makes sense. You got one and eight, three and six, four and five, two and seven. Uh, the valve covers are interchangeable, so this side is flipped the other way for the other side. So um, you basically go across, so one and eight, you know, and two, and, yeah, you, you get the idea. Uh, they go where they go. So we're going to go ahead and start getting these installed and torqued and everything, and hopefully have this thing running here shortly. Uh, so we got the hard lines on, the little hold downs on. We pulled the wiring harness out of the way. Uh, I'm going to work on getting all the fuel lines set up and everything, and then all the uh, the coolant hose and everything, hopefully, all set up, then the wiring harness, and hopefully, like that, we should be ready to go. Hopefully, only maybe another hour or two of work into this, and we can see if it'll run, so I'm going to check some things over right now, keep hammering away, uh, and just kind of button up loose ends. This is all kind of stuff that you're just going to have to pay attention to when you pull your you know when you pull your truck apart because it's just a, a rat's nest under here so yeah uh, we're gonna make sure everything's tight and good to go and then you know we'll follow up in a minute you guys probably can't see me because of the sun it's the first sunny day in like forever so we're enjoying it we're outside it's a great day so so a little bit more bullshit than i thought but i think we're about ready to get this thing fired up we have everything put back together as far as i know we do, did not put coolant in it yet but uh we're gonna go ahead and grab the batteries off the big truck bring them over here get it and see if we can crank it i already pumped the fuel filter cracked it checked the bleeder made sure we had fuel uh we are gonna do an oil change on it but i'll wait till after i just want to see if it'll fire because there's gonna be a lot of shit in it and then uh i'll change the fluid and new filter and all that stuff um no we'll add coolant and all that stuff so now we're just basically gonna put the air box the air cleaner plug in the map, put the batteries in, and try and fire it. So hopefully everything goes good. Hopefully no more issues and nothing, no problems with this truck. 
All right, so we got the batteries hooked up, everything's in except for coolant, but we're gonna do that after. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if it'll crank. And just a bit of information, we saw the oil change slip was due at 136,000 miles. The truck only has 132 on it, and that slip was from 2014, so it hasn't ran in that long. some issues I think we have them straightened out the truck did start we're about to start it for you again um, I forgot a sensor so we're gonna go ahead and fire it up we just changed the oil put coolant in it so we're gonna fire it up and let it make sure it runs runs good better I want to go check and see if it's smoking it's got a little bit of white smoke it, it hasn't ran in six years we'll let it run kind of do its thing I still want to figure out what's going on with it but it sounds better than it did so we're gonna pull up some stuff on EFI here actually real quick hold on I'm going to clear the codes. Because there's a metric f ton. So we're going to clear diagnostics. Okay. Just turn it off. Turn it back on. No light right now. Sounds like starting a lot sooner too. Yeah. We're gonna go scan and tune. Uh, although we're gonna change all of this. Yeah, very minimum smoke too. What? Smoke's very minimum too. Yeah, from what it was. Apparently my V2 just took a crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and straighten that out and check some things on this. So We'll be back momentarily. Well, we got the truck to move under its own power, but we believe that the thickum is causing an issue because we're still getting the injector seven misfire. So I'm just gonna double check everything over and uh, we're gonna try a new thickum here. We're gonna try and find and locate one and then hopefully that fixes it. If not, we're gonna have to dig back into the valve cover, but pretty much, I mean, it, it fires up, which is pretty nuts. You know, just smoky a little bit, but it runs. Everything's fuck. It's crazy. We got the truck running, but just it's just not running right. So we're gonna try and pick them. See if we can get it straightened out. These LB sevens are picky. So that'll be a later video, though. I'm about to wrap it up for today. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button below, and we will see you later.